Dear Newbie, welcome to your crash course into the world of DCI, or Drum Corps International. You might have a lot of questions, chief among those being, what is Drum Corps? Who gave me the authority to talk at length about this topic? And why should I care? A lot of confusion, I know, especially if you are someone who has no idea what the activity is, and you've just been told by a loved one that they are going to participate. By the end of this video, you should have a decent idea of what Drum Corps is, and why so many people are drawn to it. But I suppose I should start with who I am, and why I feel confident in talking about this subject. Hi, I'm Grant, and I've been following Drum Corps pretty much my whole life. I haven't missed a DCI World Final since I was 8 years old, and I have marched one year Open Class and two years World Class at Colt Cadets and Colts, respectively. There are plenty of creators talking about the history of Drum Corps, or how to be successful on the road, but not really the philosophy behind the activity. So I decided I'd have a go at being that creator. So introductions are done, let's answer the first big question on everyone's mind, what is Drum Corps? Just a side note here, I will only be talking about world class Drum Corps for this video. No hate on open and international class, but there is a lot of inconsistency within those classes that you don't see as often in world class. All right, side note over, back to the video. Put simply, Drum Corps is a marching band that consists of brass, percussion, and color guard, which you can perform in until the age of 22. There is an exclusion of instruments that fall under the woodwind family, such as saxophone, clarinet, or flute, but besides this, the instrumentation is similar to a regular marching band. But these corps aren't like your high school marching band, because the young men and women who perform in these corps work much longer and harder to perform their show. Most corps start their season in the last two weeks of May, and don't finish until the DCI World Finals, which takes place in the second week of August. That's a span of 85 days. Within this time, cores mainly do three things. Rehearse, travel, and perform shows. And they're going to be doing a lot of all three. At the beginning of tour, cores often rehearse up to 12 hours a day with four one-hour meal breaks before, after, and in between rehearsals. This segment of tour is called spring training and is considered to be the hardest part of the activity. Four weeks straight of eat, sleep, rehearse, repeat. During this time, travel is minimized, so corps can focus all their efforts on perfecting the show. It's grueling, and some sustain injury that causes them to have to quit. However, once you get out of spring training, you begin the more enjoyable part of the season, tour. This is where the performers travel around and, well, perform shows. There are still full rehearsal days sprinkled into the mix, but for show days, the rehearsal is cut down significantly, from 12 hours to about 5 to 6 hours on average. There are smaller shows on the weekdays, which usually have a few world-class cores. However, the regionals, which are held on the weekend, are the main focus of tour. The regionals for 2018 took place in St. Louis, Missouri, San Antonio, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, and Allentown, Pennsylvania. After the regionals comes the final week of the season, which ends with the DCI World Championships, a three-day event showcasing the best of the best. If you look at the shows after the regional start, you'll notice that they're all on the road from one regional to the next in order to travel most efficiently. That being said, it's still over 2,000 miles of travel, and a lot of time is spent on buses, and this is how the majority of the downtime is spent at Drum Corps. Oh yeah, and if you're thinking of staying at a nice cushy hotel between rehearsals, think again. Corps will stay at schools and colleges. And apart from a very lucky group that can persuade a college to let them stay in their dorms, members usually sleep on the floor, on sleeping bags, air mattresses, or cots. Oh, and did I also mention that it literally costs thousands of dollars to even join? The average tuition for a member to march in a world-class corps is $2,400, which isn't even including the cost of attending camps or buying equipment needed to perform. So with all that said, you might be asking yourself, why would anyone ever do this? You literally pay thousands of dollars to march. You sleep on gym floors and buses. You work ungodly amounts of hours, and for what? To perform a glorified marching band show? And yes, all this is true. However, there are reasons why people do this. After all, there are currently 24 cores actively competing in world class, and most of them have the maximum of 154 members. That's over 3,500 world class marchers a year, many of whom march until they age out. 
and there are thousands of fans across the world who attend shows and watch the broadcast. So there must be a reason why people keep coming back to this activity, right? Yes, there is a reason. And that reason is, Drum Corps is awesome. But for people who haven't done it and haven't experienced it, it may seem like it's not worth it. But I'm here to convince you otherwise. So let's dive into the reasons why Drum Corps is awesome. For starters, I should say that often the reason why people get into drum corps isn't the same reason people stay in drum corps. People often join because they went to a show or they saw a video online of a top level drum corps playing fantastic music and marching an incredible show. I mean, even I started out as a starry eyed fanboy, which is why I'll forever have a fondness in my heart for 2008 Phantom Regiment. Super cool, right? But coolness isn't the reason people stay in drum corps. So what is? For help with this part, I actually asked a group of DCI participants why they do DCI, and I got a lot of very heartfelt answers. For many, it's the rush of performing in front of thousands of fans. For others, it's the personal growth, as Drum Corps teaches people valuable life lessons like perseverance and time management. However, there were two answers that came up most often. People come back to Drum Corps for the people they meet and for the opportunity to be a part of something bigger. It takes a lot of dedication and a ton of passion in order to participate in a Drum Corps, and the people who you march with will feel a similar way. Within this tribe, people find a home. To quote acclaimed program coordinator Howard Weinstein, the people you meet here will be with you for life. They will be the best man at your wedding and will come for you when you lose a loved one. The friendships you will make on tour will last you a lifetime. But people also said one of the reasons they come back was to be a part of something bigger, to be away from their lives and their fears and all their problems with their life and focus on one thing only, the show. You no longer have to worry about school or work or this or that or anything else. All you have to focus on is becoming the best performer that you can be. I'd actually like to share a story by a girl that we're going to call uh, Jenny Fake Name. When I posted my question asking why people march drum corps, she messaged me personally to tell me how drum corps and the marching arts in general have impacted her life. I asked her if I could use her story in the video, and she said she would love for me to, provided I change her name. So here goes. When Jenny was a child, she was diagnosed with cancer, and even though doctors said she only had a few months to live, she eventually made a full recovery. Despite this, Jenny always felt like it was a mistake that she was alive. Shortly after her mission, she was sexually assaulted by her uncle. These two events compounded together and put her in a bad place mentally, and she eventually attempted suicide. She survived, but was told that she was selfish because she was lucky to be alive which obviously made things worse. Flash forward to fifth grade, where she found something she loved, music. With her instrument, for once in her life, she found something that she can improve upon and make her own. This passion grew until she joined marching band in high school and found a love for it because she felt valued. After all, everyone is valued when you're marching. You need everyone in order to make a perfect star. She eventually found her way to drum corps and no longer feels like her life is an accident. But instead, she views it as a miracle. Drum Corps isn't just an activity, it's a family. Every year, people sacrifice their time and money in order to march, and they return more mature and in the best shape of their lives. If you have some friends who march drum corps, scroll through their pictures, and you will see that they probably lost a lot of weight and got super tanned. But the tan will eventually fade. Abs will eventually turn to flabs. And what are you left with? More often than not, 
people who return home being better than who they were before. More motivated, more humble, more caring, and decisive. And most importantly, people return home believing in themselves. So if you're on the fence about doing this activity, I would say you should absolutely give it a shot. Drum Corps isn't for everyone, and you might get to your first audition camp and decide it's not for you. But for those who stick with it, you will become a better version of yourself. And if someone you love, be it son, daughter, boyfriend, girlfriend, sister, brother, or anyone else is thinking about doing DCI, then encourage them. They just might need it more than you know. Sincerely, Grant. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you liked it and want to see similar content in the future, then consider subscribing. For my next video, I'm actually running a poll on my Twitter, at GrantDCI. The choices are a video ranking recruitment videos and a video essay about what makes a show great. So be sure to vote on that and follow me over there. Lastly, this video was made for the people who don't really understand what DCI is or why we do it. So consider showing to your parents or significant other or anyone else who doesn't really understand. It's hard to explain to people what makes us fall in love with this activity, and I completely understand. That's why I made this video in the first place. Alright, that's all for this video. Have a good one.